Thank you guys for coming back to uh, Cobra TV, and we've got a special episode for you. As you guys seen the video that I uploaded about the game called Free Freeman Star Edge. It is a it looks like an RPG space exploration uh, awesomeness game, and I am lucky to have the developers here on the show today to talk about that game, and uh, I'm super excited. We have KK Game Studios. How you doing, guys? Good, good. Thanks. Um, and, and who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? What's your name? Uh, my name's Heron, and I'm the main de developer of this game. Okay. And I'm Tina. I'm community manager. Nice to meet you guys. Very nice to meet you guys. Yes, I've been nice talking to, to Tina quite a bit over on, on Twitter, and uh, it's very nice to meet you guys. Okay, so... Nice to meet you, too, yeah. <laughs> Real quick, um, give me a basic synopsis. You know, wh what's this game about? Okay, so basically this game is about uh, space exploration. And in addition, we want to merge space exploration with ground uh, expedition. Um, and also we want to merge realistic combat, like armor-style combat, and a pretty intense large-scale um space combat into one one fluent one single player game so that's and also this game is about a non uh, story driven sandbox experience non story driven yes okay non story driven okay uh we'll get into that here in a bit um uh, what can you give me a history of your uh your your game studio here like how many people are working on the game there are three people on the game. Okay. And it's uh, me, Heron. Uh, we're <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's me. There are three people here. Me, the main developer. Uh, I'm sorry, I think this is Tina's, <laughs> Tina's answer. Okay. So there are three full time workers um, like me, a community manager, and Heron, main developer and Melamori, our artist. And also we often got a lot of support from our community. So it's even kind of like teamwork. Oh, wow. Support from the community helping you make the game. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Very amazing. Uh, so what uh, is this the first game that you guys have done? Yeah, it is the first time. It's our, um, our team is pretty new. Okay. And we have been developing one year on this game okay so this game's been in development for one year has anybody on your crew um uh, done any games in the past before on well, their on their own i yeah only me i had uh done some game before but it was small scale game and also i worked on some military project before uh primarily some simulators in virtual reality oh really yeah that sounds interesting uh, what influences are went into uh, making Freeman Storage? Uh, like, what games kind of influenced it? You know, I kind of get mm -hmm. like a, a a bunch of different vibes. Um, and I know this might be weird saying it, but it's kind of like a Skyrim in space. And I, I hate doing that with games where you kind of compare them with another game. Um, I, I, I hate it when other well, people do it, and I shouldn't be doing it myself. But it's the easiest way to kind of explain uh, something exactly. to somebody. Yeah, exactly. It's okay. I mean, a lot of people say our game looks similar to Skyrim or like Skyrim in space, or they compare our game with uh, Skyrim and and Mass Effect. Yes. And also, a lot of people say this game is like Mountain Blade in space. We got a lot of these kind of comparisons. Um, so I think like our influences was primarily from Skyrim uh, and Mass Effect. And Mountain Blade. Mountain Blade. Okay, so you guys went in definitely he being heavily influenced by those games. Yes. Awesome. Very awesome. Um, so I earlier you said something about a single player experience that's non story driven. So there's definitely no no multiplayer. Right now it is a single player game. Okay. And we are planning to include multiplayer as our stretch goal uh, because uh, we think that. Also, can be really fun, and our community 
very often ask about this. Um, yeah, but so far, because our team is still not too big, it will be difficult to handle that. Okay. Um, so a lot of the questions underneath the category here, again, for multiplayer, kind of, you know, since you guys are not really worried about that at the moment, that's a stretch goal. Um, so, But, you know, would you know how multiplayer would work? Or is it too far away? Well, it is pretty far away, okay. but we kind of have idea of how it should work. It's going to be more like a single-player co-op mode. So it feels like a single-player game, but just with other people involved. I see. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so there's definitely not going to be any PvP when you uh, add the multiplayer in, if you get the multiplayer in. Well, it, um, it is not going to be only PvP experience. I mean, when other people are involved, you can still shoot each other. Okay. But it's not only about it. You can explore with each other together, and you can um, do missions together, and also you can turn on war against each other. Ooh. You know, that makes for some interesting gameplay. You know, you're doing a mission together. Uh, maybe you get some guys pretty high levels, like, hey, there's this boss battle we got to go do, and there's this uh, loot afterwards, and we'll split the loot. And then you do so, and then one guy turns on everybody and kills everyone takes a loot for himself yeah <laughs> it's awesome yeah, gameplay. that's our vision oh that's your vision <laughs> awesome yeah. very awesome that's the vision for our multiplayer part yeah very good very good uh so you said that there's a last uh, not the next section i have in here is story so you said there's no story so what you're doing really and correct me if i'm wrong but you're just creating a, an awesome sandbox with just things to do and not be governed by uh, a story path or anything. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, what we are trying to do is to create a complete sandbox experience that the player can decide on what to do in this universe. And they can go to kill bandits, they can go to loot and trade. There are many things to do. Uh, and the game doesn't really limit, put limit on this. And also, like, you can, after you got more powerful, you can form an army and invade other planets. And after you take down some planets, you can build your settlements there. So there's just like a lot of ways to play this game. So that for different players with different uh, interest in games, they can all find something interesting. Uh, they can all find something they like from this game. I see. Uh, when I was watching your trailer that you guys had on your Kickstarter, there was quite a few people around the, uh, the the person playing and I I automatically assumed automatically assumed that they were other players so those are AI then yeah they are NPCs NPCs so what's um, so those are people that you can um, hire or uh, you know recruit to be part of a, a team for you to go out and explore or raid well Basically, all these P NPCs are kind of like in that uh, NPCs in Skyrim that you can kill them, but they also have different roles in the society. For example, there are traders, there are mercenaries which you can hire, and they can join your army to assist in your, on your campaign. Uh, there are policemen, and they will catch you if you steal something. They have different roles. Ooh. Sounds good. Uh, really good. Um, so I I seen some gameplay right now. My PC is broken. I can't play anything on my PC. I'm going to get it repaired. But I seen some video footage of the demo that you guys had out. I think mm -hmm. the video was posted back in May. Um, and I took a look at your trailer. And in comparison, there's a big change from that uh, footage from that demo. Um, has the game changed a lot since that demo? Uh. I think it's not really changed, it just improved. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean, improved. I guess I uh, should have used a different word. But it, yes, it has improved. The, the textures, the surrounding, um, the movement of the character um, has definitely improved from that May video that I've seen compared to what I've seen in your trailer on Kickstarter. Yeah. Okay. Well, the game definitely, invo uh, it definitely got improved a lot. But our main idea still the same just we're putting more features and more content to it right. so yeah with future update it's gonna look totally different okay. from what it was before okay great great um so we're talking about space exploration uh, well space it's a sci-fi game so how big are these planets that we're on 
Are they truly open world, and uh, how big are they? Uh, our planets are different in sizes. Smaller ones can be around 700 square meters, and big ones are around 1,300 square meters. Wow. They're not really big, okay. but it's open space, and there are a lot of different places to, to visit. For example, cities, caves, or bandit camps. There are a lot of contents on each planet. Okay. And are we talking about multiple biomes or just one common theme? Like, can I be there traveling and then come across uh, a snowy region? Um, right now, our planet is kind of like every planet has only one theme. For example, if it's, if it's a desert planet, then you can only see desert okay. on this planet. Okay. Um, so, how many planets are in the game? Do you know yet? Is that a number that you do you have a goal? So, we will have around 15 planets and they're all handcrafted. And we are planning to add more in future updates. Okay, so there's 15 planets. Um, you're breaking up just a tad bit, but there's 15 planets that are all handcrafted and you plan on adding more in future updates. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Very awesome. And uh, a scene somewhere on your Kickstarter, you said that there's not really any, well, there's open space, as you said, but there's things to do in the game. Like, you you really focusing on giving the player a lot of things to do instead of being on a planet and saying, I don't know what to do. Yeah. Can you tell us what some of the things to, there are to do on the planets? Yeah. There are a lot of things you can do. For example, you can, you can loot, and you can pick up pretty much anything you see from the ground. And you can gather stuff, like you can gather some, some fruit, or you can hunt some animals if you see. And there's always like mining on the planet. If you see some mining, uh, you can try to mine it. And also you can trade or have a drink in the bar or do some gambling, this kind of stuff. Ooh, so there's a gambling uh, mechanic to the game. Is that like a mini game? Yeah, it's pretty much like mini game, and you have to master it. It's pretty difficult. Wow, that's really cool. Um, okay, uh, so the planets, like, I seen that there was space flight. So if I got into a ship and I take off and go to space, is it a seamless transition out into space or into the planet, or is it like a, a loading screen? It's like loading screen. Okay. All right, so... I noticed that the game had a really heavy building mechanic to it. Is there anything you could tell us about the building in the game? Well, so far we have planned a very, very simple building system on the planet surface. Like, if you conquer a planet, then you can build settlements. But you can only build from some pre-made buildings, such as a bunker or a factory. And so these structures are uh, to increase defense or the production of the planet. Basically, it's to help you help player to to gain uh, to earn more money okay and also uh you can build interior of your ship and this mechanic is a little more complicated than building on on the planet uh that you can place your uh you can place furniture by yourself and you can design the interior of your ship by yourself okay so you you can build cities or communities I'm sorry, say again? You could build, uh, like, uh, cities on these planets that you conquer. Well, it's not like cities. It's more like small settle settlements. Settlements, okay. Um, yeah. Are, so when you build one of those settlements, are they? Uh, is it your personal settlement, or can you um, add NPCs to those settlements? Well, it's it's basically player's settlement. Okay. It's like player conquered this settlement. Okay. And you can build a lot of different structures. For example, if you build... A bunker, then some soldiers will generate from this bunker to add defense to this location. Oh, So, okay. yeah, there's going to be other NPCs, not just going to be player. Got you. Got you. Okay. Um, can you tell us about the art design and the soundtrack? Um, it's got an amazing art design. That I think, you know, there's a lot to be said there about the way that your planets look. Uh, yeah, we're doing more realistic and atmospheric re uh, approach in terms of uh, art style. Right. And we want to create different vibe for each planet. We want, if, uh, we want each planet to be very different from each other. And 
uh, all very good looking and very atmospheric. Okay, so you're definitely going for the realism look. I, I, yeah, I could definitely tell that. Um, what yeah. about the physics of like gunplay? Uh, for the gunplay, we're doing also like very realistic approach, uh, although at, at not as realistic as combat simulator, but it's like right. uh, we have bullet drops, we have bullet physics, and laser weapon. Uh, for example, laser. Oh, sorry. Okay. For example, laser weapons can penetrate armor better than bullet projectiles. Okay. Uh, we have this like pretty detailed simulation, and also we have. Uh, squad-based combat, and well, that's your that's your question. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Very awesome. Um, so, and and the flight physics are they just push and turn, or is there a, a physics to it? Is there like a draw and drag? It's pretty simple. Okay. Uh, it's more simulated than uh, than re realistic. Okay. Simulation. Okay, great. Um, and we can can we are are we able to build our own ships or are they all pre made? They are pre made. Okay. And uh, a little bit about the soundtrack. Who's making the soundtrack for the game? Uh, we haven't selected our musician yet. Uh, we need to find out after Kickstarter. Okay. Let's go ahead and talk about the Kickstarter. So, what are the stretch goals for your uh, for exceeding the Kickstarter? Uh, well, for strategy goal will be multiplayer, story mode, and different platforms, and more content. Okay, so multiplayer, story modes, and uh, multiple platforms, and what was the last one? More content. More content. Okay, well, awesome. What percentage would you say the game is right now of completion? Uh, around 50% of the game 50? feature is done. 50% game feature, feature-wise. Okay. And around 20% uh, content is done. Really? Yeah. Okay. Do you have a release date in mind, like a target date? Not not something set in stone, but like a window. Yeah, we'll probably target early access in March and full release at the end of 2018. Okay. Well, that's not too far away for early access, that's for sure. Yeah, um, it's pretty, it, pretty close. I'm sorry? It's pretty close. Yeah, it sure is. Um, so you said, Tina said that one of the uh, stretch goals was multiple platforms. So that's the next question I have here is uh, what platforms will this, could be, will, will this be coming out on? So, uh, so right now, it's only PC, correct? Yes. Okay, but... Without a shadow of a doubt, you guys want it on consoles. Well, a lot of people ask for consoles, and we really like to have console support, but that's going to be a, a stretch goal. Okay, definitely a stretch goal. Um, yeah. And when does the Kickstarter go live? October 3rd. October 3rd. Okay. Yeah, um, just, what's that? A week. Just a week. Yeah. Uh, Can you believe it's already October? <laughs> it's almost Halloween. <laughs> Yeah, man, I don't believe it. it. It's like what three months away till Christmas? Jeez, but well, that crept up <laughs> on us. Um, okay, uh, so sound everything sounds amazing. Is there anything else that you would like to add that we didn't talk about? Yeah, um, I think. Um, okay. We would like to invite more people to join our community because um, we have really great community and we like to communicate with people, with backers and with uh, all those people who have great ideas and who can give us insight. So this game is, uh, we want to make this game with our backers and community together. Okay. Yeah, and just want to say, really huge thanks to our community because they actually influence our development progress very much because uh, they help us a lot they advise us a lot and support us also really really good and i think without their support it wouldn't be that easy to make this game oh for sure definitely for sure uh where can we find the community 
Is there a forum or is there a website? Uh, uh, well, uh, we have community on Discord channel. Oh, okay, Discord channel. Is there any way that you could send a uh, link to that Discord channel so I could uh, share it with uh, everybody on Cobra TV? Yes, sure. It will be great. Okay, sure. Just send that over to me on Twitter, and I'll make sure I put it in the video. Yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Um, well, guys, it has been super amazing talking to you. And uh, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy days and talking to me. I really do appreciate that. That's no problem. It's very nice talking to you and share all these ideas and information with you and your audience. Yeah, you got me excited for sure. <laughs> it's like uh, <laughs> I think one of my subscribers shared your, uh, your Kickstarter. And I'm like, okay, let me click on this. What is it? And I was just blown away. Had to make a video. I think I made, I think I made a video like an hour or two after seeing it <laughs> yes, it was really fast i, I was shocked <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like feel like a dream yesterday was pretty late right? pretty it was late. morning it was, was morning, morning and we are very very sleepy and prepared to go to bed yeah and then like we saw this awesome message that someone like very huge um media or youtuber shared our message so like couldn't be possible after that Right. I'm sure it's got to be exciting. Definitely exciting. And I think we're all excited. Can't wait to play the game. Hopefully, we'll be playing the early access in March. And uh, I'll have my PC fixed by then. So, can't wait. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> all right, guys. You all take care. Stay safe. And uh, game on. Thank Same. you. Thank you. All the best. <laughs> all right. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.